25-year-old Maria Gendileva has been in a wheelchair since a car crash 10 years ago. She lives in southern Moscow at the end of the metro line, refusing to let her disability slow her down. There are a lot of active people with disabilities, but of course the majority of disabled people stay at home. They don't go anywhere in particular and don't work except if they work from home. This is because they cannot leave their apartments, because not everything is accessible around their homes. While Maria's apartment is wheelchair accessible, getting to work by public transportation or expensive taxis was not an option. So she saved up, bought a car with special hand controls, and learned how to drive. Every morning she joins Muscovites battling through the capital's traffic jams to get to work. Gendileva works at Perspectiva, an NGO that seeks to break down the psychological and physical obstacles encountered by people with disabilities in Russia. Maria's task today is to help organize an upcoming play staged for disabled people at Moscow's Pushkin Theater. It sounds a simple enough task, but when she arrives, her wheelchair won't fit through a set of doors. Theater staff are eager to help make more seating available for wheelchair users. But getting to the theater itself is still a challenge for many. Unfortunately, public transportation is absolutely inaccessible for people with disabilities. Neither buses nor the metro. Either you have to work at home, which isn't very interesting, or somehow drive to work every day. A person in a wheelchair can only get to work by car or taxi, but I don't think disabled people have enough money to hire a taxi every day in Moscow. Even though Maria doesn't have to rely on public transportation, she still needs help putting her wheelchair in the trunk of her car. And she hopes the government will do more to help Russia's 13 million disabled people enjoy greater freedom of movement.